Can you see something? Yeah, it's okay, Marina. It's... Okay, great. Uh, it's a uh, it's a weird day with uh, things uh, exploding. So I'm just waiting for the next one. <laughs> no, okay. everything is fine. Great. <laughs> great. So uh, welcome everybody, and uh, today I want to try to um, share what is going on uh, uh, on the LibreOffice side uh, about the Italian language support, and uh, in particular uh, the the current status and uh, what uh, we are uh, we are planning to do. So about me. I am uh, Marina Latini. I am uh, one of the founder of the Libritalia uh, Association, that is the Italian uh, uh, Association uh, of the uh, Italian member of the LibreOffice community. So Libritalia, it's uh, yeah, I know it's quite easy to <laughs> understand. <laughs> uh, then uh, uh, I am a TDF member, and I'm currently uh, also the chairperson of the membership committee. Uh, on the open source side, uh, I am uh, currently in uh, in the board, and uh, obviously I am an open source uh, addicted. So I am really uh, trying to uh, learn a lot. Uh, I'm curious, and I'm uh, really happy to to attend uh, this event also for uh, learning uh, something new from uh, uh, all the other presenters. And uh, apart from uh, the uh, open source activities, uh, in my daily life, uh, uh, I'm uh, a maintenance release coordination engineer at SUSE. And uh, yeah, uh, you will learn more about uh, this part uh, in, uh, in another talk that uh, I will give uh, uh, during the conference, uh, talking about uh, maintenance. Uh, but as I said before, today I want to talk about uh, a topic that is really uh, important to me, that is the uh, localization of LibreOffice and the support uh, that the users can, uh, can have uh, in Italian while uh, using uh, uh, LibreOffice. So the agenda for today is uh, indeed a, a status update of what uh, we are facing now, uh, which are the issues. Uh, what we are trying to, to do for uh, solving uh, uh, the issues and, uh, in general, uh, the next step uh, that uh, we are planning uh, and uh, that we are trying to, to follow uh, one by one. So, the status. Uh, the status is definitely not a nice one because uh, if you look at uh, uh, LibreOffice, uh, at the source code, uh, you will unfortunately see that uh, the last update uh, for the language tools, uh, so the, um, the dictionary, uh, the thesaurus, and uh, so all the other tools that in general are supporting someone while uh, using LibreOffice, uh, were updated last time <laughs> in 2010. So I think that after uh, 10 years, uh, it's definitely time uh, to, to take action, uh, to do something uh, for uh, uh, improving uh, the, the current status. Uh, why uh, the status is this one? Because definitely um, at the open office time, uh, in, uh, in Italy, there was the player that was the uh, association that was mainly taking care of uh, uh, all the uh, activities around uh, localization for uh, uh, at that time open office uh, in the reality was not just uh, the linguistic project uh, but was uh, the, the community behind uh, uh, open office uh, uh, in Italy so um, as a a normal extension of these uh, activities, uh, uh, the PLEO was uh, uh, taking care of the language tool. And uh, with taking care, I mean that uh, uh, there were uh, really good experience and skilled uh, uh, contributors uh, uh, working on the dictionary, working on the, on the thesaurus and uh, uh, taking care of uh, uh, updating it, uh, maintaining uh, and so on. Uh, and uh, everything was uh, working 
let's say in in a normal way uh, until uh, there was the the fork and uh, until uh, we we moved to to LibreOffice. Uh, so the the problem there was that uh, the, uh, the the last letter of that acronym, <laughs> the O. Uh, means uh, open office and uh, they definitely decided to stay with uh, uh, the open office project uh, and then uh, with uh, apache open office so in uh, all uh, uh, this time uh, was really not possible to uh, to have uh, uh, updates uh, uh, on the on the dictionary and uh, all the other language tools uh, because the, the knowledge of on uh, the topic uh, was uh, completely there, and uh, because they were the the maintainer, and uh, yeah, <laughs> as you can imagine, was uh, exactly not easy uh, when uh, uh, there is a fork ongoing to to keep uh, uh, all the community together. So it can happen. It's uh, not just something uh, common. Uh, uh, in the LibreOffice area, it's uh, it's open source, and uh, there are frictions uh, in the community, in the communities. So in um, in several uh, occasions, the current uh, uh, localization uh, team uh, of, of LibreOffice uh, uh, was trying uh, to contact. Uh, uh, the people that were maintaining uh, the language tools uh, on the Apache side, uh, but uh, we had no success. <laughs> uh, we got really no answers. So that was uh, mainly uh, the, the starting point uh, of something that was uh, definitely not updated for uh, too many years. Um, apart from this, um, we discovered that uh, uh, there was uh, an extension, an extension that was uh, developed by the uh, old existing uh, uh, maintainer uh, that was uh, last updated uh, around uh, 2015, but that was uh, not merged uh, with, the, with the existing uh, uh, code, uh, LibreOffice uh, code, I mean. And uh, uh, this extension uh, is only available uh, on the Apache OpenOffice uh, uh, extension website. Uh, so from uh, the LibreOffice point of view, the main issue is that uh, if you are just installing uh, uh, LibreOffice, uh, you have the dictionary and all the other language tools that are installed uh, by default because Italian is a is a language that is uh, supported by LibreOffice uh, with a let's say one of the main languages that are directly built uh, in the in the core and uh, the updated version uh, is uh, in an external place so you need to know that you need to search for the extension then you need to install it so the majority of the people are just uh, installing uh, the default version uh, from uh, the tdf website or in general from the linux distribution and so on and are getting uh, a, a really old a 10 years old uh, language tools and uh, the other um, difficulty uh, was definitely that uh, uh, the maintainers were uh, really not reacting, uh, but they are still listed as uh, uh, maintainers. And uh, uh, the, the side effect uh, is that uh, it's uh, technically not, not possible to submit something because the responsible is uh, uh, not answering. Uh, and uh, it's really not clear uh what to do so we had this uh phase of uh, waiting uh, uh trying to uh trying to talk <laughs> trying to uh, solve the problem uh, uh without uh, a, a really a direct action uh, but this um, polite way uh, was definitely not working so uh after 10 years, uh, the decision uh, is taken. So the Libre Italia Association decided to take over uh, the maintenance of these uh, language tools for, for the Italian language. So 
we, we can say that uh, yeah, Libretalia is uh, is forking uh, the old uh, the old language support uh, that was uh, provided at that time uh, uh, by Open Office, and uh, uh, was just another <laughs> interesting coincidence. Uh, in our community, uh, we have uh, also other uh, people um, contributing to the Mozilla uh, projects, and uh, the uh, Italian Mozilla community was just uh, contacting uh, uh, the Italian localization team uh, uh, from LibreOffice, uh, asking to uh, try to work together on the dictionary and uh, the other language tools because uh, also uh, on the Mozilla side they are just reusing uh, the existing uh, uh, package uh, that was uh, built uh, at the uh, open office time so uh, in parallel with this uh, the uh, Italian community decided also to uh, migrate uh, all the localization materials uh, uh, from uh, an existing uh, old uh, uh, Dropbox instance uh, to the TDF uh, Nextcloud. Um, the reasons uh, are not just for migrating away from something that is a, a closed source and uh, uh, it's not uh, following the spirit uh, of uh, an open source community, uh, but uh, the, the other idea was also to be to be able to uh, keep uh, all the information, all the documentation, and all the materials uh, available uh, uh, to the contributors uh, that are currently part of the community, uh, but uh, having uh, everything uh, centralized uh, at uh, TDF uh, is also a way to um, keep these information available uh, also when uh, uh, some community member maybe will decide to, to leave uh, or new one will join. Uh, the TDF umbrella should uh, support uh, the community also on, uh, on this side, uh, centralizing uh, uh, the, the materials. So uh, for this, we were also <laughs> reorganizing uh, uh, the really huge uh, backup of documents, uh, uh, internal guides, uh, and so on, moving everything uh, to the TDF Next Cloud. And uh, uh, the other really hard and difficult part uh, was definitely to try to uh, retrieve the all the information that uh, we had uh, at the uh, Open Office and Clio time. Uh, because this documentation uh, uh, was shared only um, across the team, uh, that the, the small team that was making uh, the um, language tools for uh, for the Italian language, and uh, we, we lost the contact with them. So at the moment, uh, uh, we were uh, at the beginning when when we decided to to finally restart the process, we were really uh, without uh, uh, the the information. Uh, uh, without uh, updated files, uh, so we were just uh, uh, able to, to grab uh, what was uh, available uh, in the source code uh, uh, from uh, LibreOffice Core in the uh, sub-module uh, that uh, is um, um, providing uh, the um, Italian language. And uh, uh, there, was, uh, uh, th there were some other uh, uh, documents uh, saved locally by other contributors, but uh, yeah, it was a uh, really a process, uh, uh, the, the, the old and boring process of checking uh, archives, uh, backups, uh, with the hope to have uh, something uh, helpful uh, uh, to to reuse. And uh, what uh, uh, we are definitely doing uh, is to start to document everything. So the idea is to also update uh, what is needed on the uh, TDF side, on the main uh, uh, wiki, uh, for uh, being sure that everyone that wants to contribute can find uh, an easy way to, to start, not only just contacting uh, the existing uh, uh, translation group. And uh, yeah, <laughs> the, the next step uh, that we started was uh, uh, the cleaning up of the existing dictionary. Uh, we decided to start from the dictionary because uh, 
we were in the position to start completely from scratch uh, also uh, for collecting uh, the, the really basic uh, how-to uh, for handling the, the files and in general uh, the dictionary uh, from the language tool is probably the, the easiest and uh, yeah it's not an easy uh, an easy task to do it's really a, a long one but at least uh, the cleaning up uh, it's uh, something uh, that can also help uh, to uh, start to keep in contact uh, with uh, with the file format uh, and the different rules uh, for creating uh, the, the dictionary uh, then uh, what uh, we we want to do is definitely to um, join uh, the forces with the uh, Mozilla folks, also because they are willing to to work on the topic, uh, and uh, doesn't make any sense to just uh, fork something uh, uh, across two different uh, communities that are active uh, on the very same topic. It's just a waste of time and a waste of resources. And uh, all together, we can make uh, uh, the language support definitely uh, better than now. And uh, uh, as a, a side effect of this, uh, we want to definitely share more uh, how to create and uh, edit uh, uh, all these uh, dictionaries and files that uh, are normally provided uh, with, uh, with LibreOffice. And uh, yeah. The, the first commit uh, is uh, it's ready. The plan was to um, submit it uh, just uh, during the conference, uh, also for celebrating a bit uh, uh, this uh, huge anniversary. After 10 years uh, uh, of all the uh, dictionary, uh, we are ready to restart and uh, submit uh, uh, the, the new version. So the commit is ready uh, in the next days. Uh, we want to push the the first uh, the first commit on uh, on Garrett, uh, and uh, yeah, then uh, we will uh, wait for uh, uh, the senior uh, uh, developers uh, that uh, will uh, will do the review and uh, will decide uh, to approve or ask for uh, uh, more changes before uh, be before merging uh, the uh, the submission. So we are, uh, it, it's a nice feeling, uh, <laughs> it's that uh, exciting moment uh, when uh, you know that finally uh, things are moving on and, uh, and improving. And uh, yeah, uh, another thing that, uh, another step that we want to, uh, to keep in the list uh, and to uh, start uh, uh, it's definitely it's definitely to uh, involve also more expert on the topic because we we don't want just to uh, update uh, the the dictionary uh, but uh, uh, there is the thesaurus that uh, it's uh, a bit more tricky or all the other uh, definition tools and uh, yeah we we know that uh, in uh, in our uh, localization team, in any case, there are uh, experts on uh, on this topic, uh, and we were already discussing. Uh, and uh, yeah, we, we definitely need to to involve uh, all the resources that uh, are already available at and uh, directly in uh, in our community. And uh, another another step uh, that uh, uh, maybe a, a bit more with my uh, membership committee hat, uh, I want to really try to find a way to um, to make possible to have uh, much more contributors uh, just uh, uh, editing the the files uh, and being able to uh, to push what is uh, needed for improving uh, the. Uh, the language tools. Uh, the feeling that we had uh, until now was really was really bad because we had some ideas, uh, but uh, uh, we were without the knowledge, uh, and we were not able to to improve something that was uh, waiting for us. So uh, I definitely want to <laughs> bring more uh, more people uh, uh, directly on the on the code level. Uh, uh, pushing uh, the changes for the for the uh, 
uh, starting with the dictionary, but also with uh, the rest of the uh, language tools for, uh, for Italian. So, uh, something else uh, that um, could help, it's definitely to um, ask to, to the other uh, localization teams uh, uh, that are already um, updating uh, in really frequently uh, the, the language support tools, uh, uh, also for uh, understanding if uh, maybe there is a smart way to, a smarter way to, to do things and so on. And uh, uh, for, uh, for the tools, uh, uh, there is the already used uh, um, proofing tool uh, that is a, a really nice uh, um, graphical user interface developed by Marco Pinto uh, for editing uh, the, the files uh, without uh, being forced uh, to directly edit uh, uh, manually uh, the, the file uh, with, with the risk to uh, maybe create a mess in the in the important files uh, for the uh, language support. So we have definitely a lot to do. And uh, I would really love to, to do this work uh, uh, all together, starting with the existing uh, Italian, Italian localization team, uh, but definitely uh, learning more also from, uh, from the other um, uh, localization community. And uh, why not also projects? I mean, uh, we have uh, uh, a lot in common also with, uh, with other communities. And I can't believe that uh, the need to have uh, uh, the support uh, in the local languages, it's just uh, the, the need of the Italian community. So let's try to do it together. Uh, any, any question, any uh, suggestion, advice? I think no. So nothing else. And congrats to the Italian team. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, very nice. I think uh, was a uh, was definitely something needed. That we we waited too long <laughs> for uh, restarting. Yes, I agree. That's, that's really great. Okay, so that's all from my side. Thank you all. We are still all alive. The platforms are working. <laughs> there is nothing else uh, exploding around. Uh, and it's really a nice feeling. 